Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna see how to set up our menu for our debt widget with our replay, quit game, and quit to main menu. We're gonna search for a virtual box. Just take virtual box and put it on the canvas panel. We're gonna take that virtual box, make sure we anchor this to the middle center. And we're gonna reset the position X and Y to zero and make sure we put 0.5 in the alignment so it's perfectly in the center. The vertical box will, will have a size to contend for our text. And we're gonna move this box. We're gonna move this box a little bit higher up. So let's do that. Somewhere around here. And we're gonna search for a button. And we're gonna add a button on the vertical box and we're gonna search for text. And we're gonna add a text and put it over the button itself. And on our uh, text, not text, on the vertical box, we'll make sure we have size to content, obviously. So the box is the same size of everything else. We're gonna click on our text and you put the size that you want. I think I'm gonna leave it at this size. However, uh, I'm gonna change the outliner for two. So I can get that black line around my text. And from that now, we're all good with this. So you can change the color. You can play with that if you want a different color. Uh, for example, you know, you can change your text here from the button itself. Or you can even change the background of your button if you want to. So we'll try to put that as a same red, kind of. So let's see that red here. It's a full, full red. So we're going to go here and make sure we have zero everywhere so we can get a perfect red. Uh, sorry, leave one there. There we go. So we have the same red. So now that our button is created, we can click on it and duplicate it two times. So the first button will be our replay. So it's going to be replay text on the top here. And the text itself will be replay the other text will be our uh, quit to main menu text and the text will be quit to main menu there we go and this one will be quit text quit text and we're gonna make sure that we put quit game here we go so our menu is done for this so now we just have to click on the, each of the button and make sure that button number one will be named as quit to main menu button and same thing with the quit one so quit quit game button And we already have our replay text here. So that's the replay text, this one. Sorry, I messed it up. So replay text. But this one is the replay button. There we go. So we're all good with that. So we can compile this. And now we're going to do the functionality. So make sure we have the first one selected. Go all the way down, unclick. And it's going to bring you here. So on this we are going to do our logic so we need to open our level by name right so we're going to open our level by name make some space here and the map that we want to open is going to be the first person map and as you probably remember here when we die on the first person remember we set this to show mouse cursor and set game mod ui only so we're going to make sure that we put game only and remove the mouse cursor okay otherwise we won't be able to move when we reopen um, the map so we are going to remove the input so let's do that so we need to get our player controller so from our player controller we can drag from the return value and remove uh, just search for game mode 
and we're going to set input game mode only and we're going to click it there and we have to remove our mouse cursor so from the get player controllers type show mouse cursor we're going to set it and we're going to set it to untick because on the first person character here it's tick to show now we don't want to show it and we want to open our label we're going to compile that so we're going to go back here to our designer tab now we're going to quit to the main menu all the way down on click even and we can just open level by name this time right we should copy all that just in case but because this one will be a menu itself we're gonna be already set up to input mode and UI only right so this one will be a menu itself it's gonna be a map just with the menu in it so it's gonna be called I already created here main menu map so what I did I just created in my stuff a folder and I took the first person map and I just drag it to that folder to copy it right the first person map should be under the first person map you just take that you drag it to your new folder and you just do copy and rename that map main menu map and we're just gonna put that main menu map here and when we click there it's gonna open this map obviously this map is the same as this one minus uh, the fire in the middle and all the blue box just to know that we have the good map so we're all good with this now we can obviously click here if you want to and uh, if we right click on it not here sorry um what i'm talking about here i was looking for uh something else i guess you know designer tab here go back and go on your quit game button and we're going to go all the way down and unclick and here we just have to drag from it and do quit game perfectly so what i like for quit game it, it's personal but i like to put a little delay because it's not instantly so i f i think it's feel better than just kicking off the game right away uh so that way we're going to try this and it show work so let's go to first person map play and let's just let kill ourselves so now we die we have a menu here we can see that we can move our mouse so quit game quit the game so we're gonna replay and this time we're gonna quit to main menu so that's the main menu map as you can see now it's in in ui only so i can't move my character but in the real version, there is no character. It's just going to be a menu with a certain picture of the map. So it's just going to be perfect. So we're good with this. So we can just escape and play again to try the replay one. So like that. So we'll click on replay. And we're all back here. So if we die again, it's pop the menu again. Click replay and we're back there. So it's working perfectly for us. So the only thing we can probably just add to this is go back to the designer tab here in the button itself we shall have a sound when we go over if we want to uh, it's really optional so we can you remember here if I just show you uh, in the widget itself we have our option menu and on the under the option here you remember every time we go over this we have a click sound here when we over so it's exactly what I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the same sound so I'm just going to search for this sound here to have it selected so I can go back to my menu here and go down until I get the overall right here. So I was already here. So over sound, I'm just going to click on the arrow here. So it's going to automatically put the sound there. So I'm going to do the same thing for those two. And now I could do compile and play. Now we're going to die. So we have sound. And we already know that our menu is working perfectly so we can quit game and we're all set and ready to do something else so just gonna go there and I don't need that so I'm gonna remove this I was trying something else earlier and I'm just gonna 
put a comment on each and this one will be replay map this one will be quit to main menu and I'm gonna make sure that I select those one and do the little bubble so I can see it and this one will be quit game and same thing I'm gonna make sure I click show bubble perfect so everything is working for us so I'll catch you on the next one see ya